Well, I think anytime you get a chance to go out and travel as a team, that helps the team bond. And, and to get them exposed to different parts of the country, uh, playing against teams from different conferences, that's a plus. Uh, you know, we've previously we've been to Allen Fieldhouse in, in, out of Kansas, and like you mentioned, we've been at Hinkle, and uh, now we're heading out to Gonzaga, we're heading down to Corpus Christi. Um, it's just an exciting thing for the kids to be able to travel and see different parts of the country. And I also think it helps from a recruiting standpoint, too. You know, you get, especially if you play well in those locales, get a win or, or play real hot, you know, very competitive games, it helps you from a recruiting standpoint, too. Well, I think it's going to be a very competitive conference this year. Um, you know, there, there's no doubt that, that Marist has to be the team to beat based on their, their track record, and they return three outstanding players. I think all three of their seniors are candidates for first-team All-League this year. Um, you know, Iona brings back five starters from a second-place team and, and the player of the year, and I believe the freshman of the year as well. So they have to be very well regarded. And uh, the addition of Quinnipiac, who had an outstanding season last year, and I believe they bring back four or five starters. So and, and in addition to those three teams, I think there's about three or four other teams you can really mention in the mix. Um, you know, as far as our team is concerned, we've got five seniors four of whom have seen significant playing time for us, three of them have started um, on a regular basis. So they definitely bring something to the table for us. And we've got some young kids that we're definitely counting on. We need some of our sophomores and juniors to have some breakout seasons for us. Um, but I really do think that the, that the league's going to be extremely competitive this year. Well, both Katie and Brittany had outstanding seasons for us. Uh, you know, they, to, to me, they had breakout kind of years based on their sophomore year to their junior year progress. And I think the challenge for any player that makes gets that kind of recognition like second team all league is, first of all, to sustain that because they're much more of a, a well-known commodity from a scouting report standpoint. So we really just want to see them really try to sustain and, and hopefully improve a little bit on, on what they did last year. Well, I mean, Webster Bank Arena speaks for itself. I mean, with the improvements that they've made there, it is a state-of-the-art, uh, outstanding facility to play basketball, and I, I don't, I can't think of any that's better on the East Coast. So, um, to have that kind of a venue to play in gives you the ability to attract a team like in Oklahoma, uh, a perennial top ten team from a large conference, to to come out and, and to play us. They were coming east to play. They contacted us, and, and we welcomed the opportunity. Um, to do so and, and for any type of a basketball fan local basketball fan you know Oklahoma is one of the most well coached one of the most consistent programs in the country um, you know they play a great brand of basketball Sherry Cole and her staff do a fantastic job so anytime we can take on that kind of a challenge and get the opportunity to do so at home that that's a huge plus for us and, and to play tough teams gets you ready for your conference schedule.